Tillo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me. If we go live and you miss it, this is twitch.com. This is my username. And you can go in there and fast forward, rewind, pick whatever stream you like, watch, do your thing, man. Don't forget we do got merch. And we do got Patreon as well, which I'm locked out of currently. Probably not going to be locked out once y'all see this, but, you know, we post there five days a week, man. The link to all of this is down below. Now, I only really watch, uh, I watch Beard Meets Food all the time, or my personal time. But I only really watch it on here when I'm thinking about eating something that he's eating. So, he's eating the... Uh, pie mash and liquor. You don't know how many requests I get on um, TikTok to eat this. If I can find somewhere that makes it or I'll ha if I can figure out how to make it myself, I'm pretty sure it's not hard. Then I will do so. Let's get into it though, man. Let me prep myself. Now your destination is on the left. What? London. Can't say that I missed it, but it's terrible, I suppose in a way. My feels... bad. I love London. I love the UK, but this weather is just... Good to be back in our nation's capital. And we're eating pies today. Not those kinds of pies. Although that does remind me, if you haven't downloaded this year's Christmas charity song yet, then I would really appreciate it if you do so. It's only 99p. You can get it on iTunes, Amazon. Take a look at the pinned comment in the description box below if you would like to uh, download the song. And all proceeds from downloads go to the Stroke Association, which is a charity that's really... What are you talking about? I, I mean... Okay. ...important to me, and uh, it's important this time of year, I think, to... W, w Charity. ...to uh, support people... W Calls. ...who might be going through a... a, a are we saying Beer Mugs Meets Food has a video? All right. A tough time. I'm capping like I don't know already. I do know. I seen it right before I watched this and I saved it. But we can go check it out after this. Having had uh, a stroke, you know, when it's Christmas, everyone's having fun you and whatnot. You had a stroke before? From what? Uh, so yeah, it would really mean a lot to me. You can stream it as well. It's just sadly the case that you don't earn much dosh from streaming, but every little helps. So um, yeah, it would really mean a lot to me if you either download or stream it. Also, we made a rather emotional music video for it. So I'll put up a card on screen somewhere. So if you feel like watching it, if you feel yeah, like having a bit of a cry, okay. you can uh, go and watch the uh, the video. But back to business. It's a pie, mash and liquor challenge that we're doing today, which is kind of like a cockney delicacy of sorts. And so far, nobody's managed to clock it. So hopefully I can. It does look pretty gargantuan what though. Pause. We'll see. That's what she said. I feel like I should really apologize because I've not actually done anything festive this year. Ugh. Neither is this particularly festive weather. Oh, <laughs> fell down the hill. I am wearing a festive t-shirt though, so I hope you let me off. Oh, oh, Tesla? This weather is not getting me in the Christmas spirit at all. This is the spot. Cafe Isabella. I don't know why it has two Fs. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? I'm here for the uh, challenge. Why are you coming to the door and making all that noise? <coughs> Big pie and mash challenge thingy. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got it all ready for you. Good one, I'll settle. Is that the Grinch? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grinch, I know that you're really good at stealing Christmas. You're any good at stealing cars because I've got this electric thing outside that if you want to nick it, I would not complain. I'm sick to death of it. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Is that the. A lot of people say that about the Tesla once they've had it and, they, and people that actually drive a lot. Like they say that about the electric cars, man. Don't tell me that's the t-shirt. Is that the winner's t-shirt? That's yeah. the winner's t-shirt. <laughs> oh, I don't show it to me beforehand. Whenever that happens, I always feel a little bit nervous because that's actually quite a good one. What's it? So it's called the... The 10 10 challenge. I, it says... Cafe is very thing. 10 pies, 10 mash. <laughs> you can't hear a word you're saying. 10 pies, 10 mash. 10 pies, 10 mash. 30 minutes, you win the t-shirt. 30 minutes? I seen the Instagram post. And right, let's, let's get it. Today I'm at a place called Cafe Isabella, which is in Biggin Hill, near London, just south of London. Yeah? Southeast. Southeast of London. And I'm taking on their 10 in 10 pie and mash challenge. Now I've done a pie and mash challenge before, but never anything this big. And if you finish it, you get 
the meal free, a t-shirt and 10 quid cash money. Yeah? That's correct. And so it's basically, what kind of pies are those? Because it's just mashed potatoes and the liquor sauce, the green liquor sauce. <coughs> what kind of pies are Nobody's those? done it yet, right? Yeah. Nobody's, do you know how many no, people? No one completed this yet. Sweet. All right. And it's they're pretty much the meat pies, right? Beef, beef, is it just beef? The beef pies from Manzies. Yeah. The best apartment shop in the Port of London. I've Can heard that. Be. Yeah, no, I've heard that before many times. Okay, beef. And you know what I think of the knife? It's got to be a screaming folk, old London style. Yeah, I wasn't going to eat this with a knife, believe me. <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, one, go, go, go! And you get um, 30 minutes, yeah? I love his job. He is in love with the work that he does. That's tough. Salute. Yeah. I don't know whether I should, I'm going to start with the pies, I reckon. Yeah, start with one. Hey, season's greetings, folks. Trust your abodes are festooned huh? with festive paraphernalia and you enjoy much merriment and thanks for joining me for another episode. Oh, they're hot. Is it good? I should have let it cool a little bit longer, I think. I tell you, almost nine years into this farcical journey and I still haven't got- You should have break them open at the beginning. Break them in half so they can air out while you're eating them. While you break them in half, start with the mash, then eat the pies after when they cool, because cool air would flow in between the meat. Pause. Got the common sense to check the temperature of the food before starting. New Year's resolution for me, I guess. At least I've got the presence of mind to uh, to vent these suckers, let some air out, because... You don't watch too much American Pie. What are you doing? That heat is going to slow me down, and you don't get long for this one. 25 minutes in order to finish it all. Win the free meal, a spiffing winner's t-shirt, and uh, 10 quid cash money, which, of course, this time of year will come in handy. Get you a bottle of mulled wine or something. I ate a minced pie, and I burnt the inside of my mouth. I didn't recover for like three, four days. I don't know how, like, what is the inside of your mouth? Like, coated with something? Pause. This is my bad. I'm just watch. I'm still in trouble. <sighs> Paul's have to let those pies cool down. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure the mash is much cooler, old boy. Do you like my Christmas t-shirt, by the way? It's Pat Bateman. I don't know who that is. So. <sighs> <sighs> These are really hot. I'm not gonna taste my Christmas dinner now. I've, I've burnt the entire top layer of my taste buds off, I think. <laughs> the pies are delicious though. Burning the roof of your mouth is worse than burning your tongue. 100%. Is that more piping hot liquor? Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 See, that's the part that they don't be having here, like, the liquor part. Like, what is that? Yeah, so in case you're wondering, they call that green stuff liquor. It's actually just parsley sauce, so I'm not sure why they- Oh, it's just parsley sauce? I have that oh, in the liquor. refrigerator. Literally, right now, I could do this video tomorrow, then. I can go get one of these pies. There's, this is a beef and ma maize, he said? You can choose gravy, which, being a Yorkshireman, was tempting. But this is how the locals do it. That might be a great idea, actually, yeah. <laughs> no. It's my fault, I should, I just, I, I didn't realize it would retain heat quite as well. It's a pie. You're a professional. A bottle of water? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your Thank you for these. Pump down there. So the liquor is just right. parsley Stop sauce. messing around now. Because the local, we have, there's a, there's a lot of British marketplaces around here. And they have the pies for sure. So I just got to make some mashed potatoes and get mint sauce. I literally have mint sauce. I got mint sauce from a video that I did a while ago. I didn't know it was just mint sauce. Oh, 
got to let some of the air out here. Well, yeah, you can say that again. We're about halfway done with the pies, I think. You get 10 in total. I'm not sure how they approximate 10 mash, but uh, apparently it's somewhere between 5 and 6 pounds of potatoes, which, needless to say, is heavy. That's a lot of food. No, I, I really probably should have had a strategy, but I, I tend not to plan too far in advance. So I, I, I thought gotta Google this to make sure. Uh, if he says mint sauce, I believe him. I ain't gonna look too far into that, but I'm gonna look on what the dish is that they're telling me to drink. I think it was mash and liquor. They did. I thought it was gonna be most of the pies because I thought the mash would be hotter than the pies, but it turned out to be the, the other way around. So. You've only pies left, too. Two pies left, yeah. Got 11 minutes in, two pies left, a bit of mash. Thank you for noticing, yes. Are you flirting with Mr. Beard Meets Food? Mrs. Beard would not like the, the line of questions, I don't believe. So I do sometimes work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I exercise quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> you plunker. That is true, it's really more the uh, extended periods of fasting and under-eating at the key. We're done with the pies now. This is the final pie. Woo! Final pie. Let's go back. <laughs> How long have you been How are you doing? You've been going 13 minutes. I've been going 13 minutes. 13 minutes. I thought maybe I had like 12, 13 left. Oh, so. 13 minutes. How's my beard look? Good. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, is there any chance I could get um, a Diet Coke? I mean, I could get up, but do you want me to see? I, I get it. Well, Diet Coke can eat it. Yeah, you know, be, I'm watching my figure, you know, it's that time of year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I've been sat in a sauna for like half an hour. Well, they do say there are some health benefits to regulate taking a schwitz. So liquor sauce is just, liquor is just mint okay. So I think it's mostly... Mint sauce, I don't know, man. I tried it by itself with nothing, and I tried to put it on... Y'all said put the mint sauce on something. And I put it on there, and it still wasn't good. <laughs> so. Anecdotal like, but I'd rather be too hot than too cold. It's brisk out there today. Bodger and Badger. Do you ever watch that on TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm old. I don't know what that is, but I feel like the Badger from Badger and Badger. He used to love mashed potato, you remember? He used to like stick his head in it. Yeah. Oh man. This is a lot of mash. The thing about mashed potato is nobody really likes it, do they? People say they like it. You have two scoops, it's alright after that. You're just like, what am I eating? Agreed. Agreed. Like, I thought I liked mashed potatoes until like until I really got to eating it one day. Like, I put a lot on my plate, and I was like, man, I only like the first four, five bites. I don't know why I got 18 scoops of this on my plate. It's like flavor fatigue. I think I'm all right for now. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. That'd be crazy if they made him pay for the drinks <laughs> at the end. <coughs> oh, come on. Chase him outside like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Got to pay for the drinks that you... It'll be tough. He got it, but it'll still be tough. Oh, man. I'm not surprised nobody's done this, you know. Ugh. <sighs> there's, there's still a few mouthfuls left. Yeah, but we're almost there. This one is actually quite a lot tougher than it looks. I say that frequently, but the, the taters here are dense. And uh, this is the last episode before Christmas, I'm afraid. I'm taking Christmas Eve off, but uh, hopefully this will tide you over until the next one. Thanks to everyone that's downloaded the song so far. Hope you all have a great Christmas or whatever you're celebrating. And as always, I'll catch you the next one. Let's get it. You didn't say that. That's 10 mash. T-shirt. Thank you very much. At this point, we know he finished it. I'm gonna go really go look up the ingredients to this because y'all be telling me to do this on TikTok. If you don't know, the lit one on TikTok got 80,000 followers over there. I be trying y'all British food. 
And you know, I have a good time. Tell a nigga like, comment, subscribe, I'm gone.